guys doing today? This is Veracity TT with a brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to keep your master effects. Let's say you're making a beat. You want to sell the beat. And you use some effects on a master like tape stop. Well, you can't go the traditional way here and then just push file like this or whatever. And then you see how enable master effects like even if you press this, it's grayed out. It will not keep the master effects um, and apply it to each individual track. It will only apply it to that one master track. But if you want to do a pro mix, you want the track out, right? So the official way to do that here in FL, let's load a beat and I'll give you an example. Um, let's see. See this, guys? I got a ton of them. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just go to. Okay, so let's say <clears throat> with this beat, we wanted to do some effects. So what if you want to do a filter? Let's go. I'm going to do the cheap, easy way. Haha. <laughs> Looking for one knob filter. Stereo. Instead of having to go to each track and put the same effect on and mess up your mixing and your settings and your presets and whatnot for different tracks or instruments or sounds, Sometimes you want to just put it on a master bus to affect everything, right? But when you track it out the traditional way, this way, it does not save the master effects to each individual track here. It only saves it to that one master file. And if you're selling beats and you're sending out track outs, you might want to have it to where you can have the effect included in each individual file, if you get what I mean. So I couldn't find any tutorials on, on this, so I figure I'll make it for you guys. So what we wanna do. Okay, so let's say I wanted to come in like this, right? Way that you do that is excuse me instead of going there you come over here hit this arrow go down to tools and then what you want to do is you want to export all playlist tracks okay so I'm gonna use from song start Okay, so once you do that, now you can enable master effects. And once you do, you'll see here, when you hit start, it's going to apply that filter to each one of those tracks that we just added here. This filter is going to be applied to each individual track. So when you're selling your track outs, you can keep and save your effects. 
But as you can see, you see how it did the first one. Now it's doing this track. It's going to go track by track and apply whatever you have here on the um, on the master channel there. So only thing I have is this one filter. So it's going to apply that to each track. And that's how you get your track out. See, when this finish is going to go to this one. See that? So that's how you do it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Take care.